think of that. What is it, Captain? Well, the war's gonna be over at 11 o'clock. What's that, Captain? It says an armistice has been signed. What's an armistice, sir? Well, that means... I guess it means the war's over. <laughs> Yeah, that looks like it. Uh, this world will be over when I got a long white beard. What time does it say, Captain? Eleven o'clock. What time is it now, Captain? It's five minutes past nine. Well, we still got a couple hours to wait. What are you hanging around here for? Well, Captain, I want to stay and see what a war looks like when it's over. You beat on up to the dressing station right now. Well, so long, sir. So long. This is almost funny. Well, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. So long, Sarge. Oh, dead. Yeah. Well, soldier, how does it feel to have the war over? All I want to know is when do we go home? Yeah, it might be about 15 minutes too long for me. I understand there are some wounded men from the 132nd Engineers here. I wouldn't doubt it. There's been some coming through all day long. I just want to... Say. Ain't you the young lady that paid Captain Baker's outfit a surprise visit up at the front a couple of months ago? Yes. I thought I recognized you. I never forget a face. I have a message, a very urgent one, for Captain Baker. Can you tell me where... Is he... all right? His game leg was sure still going strong this morning at 9 o'clock. I hope his luck held out. Where is he? I must find him. Well, when I passed through battalion headquarters about noon, the adjutant told me our outfit was ordered back to our old billet town. Morbo? Yeah, that's the place. Oh, do you think I'd really find him there? If it's important, I'd take a chance on it if I was you. Thank you, Sergeant. Oh, that's nothing, miss. Where are you going? Where are you going? To Wyoming. 